Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome to this Outriders tips video. I've been playing the Outriders demos non-stop since it released in preparation for the full game here, where I'll be making guides on them. But the demo fortunately has most of the features of the full game, so that allows us to make a pretty decent tips video already. I will be making a much longer tips video after I complete the game as well, but here are 30 beginner tips for you to know if you are new to Outriders. You can auto loot by pressing down on the D-pad on Xbox. There is no limit to how far away you can loot from, so as long as you don't enter a new area, you can loot chests in groups to do it quicker. You can change the rarity of what you auto loot in the options menu. You can make your helmet invisible in the options menu as well. You can bring up the map on PlayStation by swiping the touchpad left. You can bring up the skill menu by swiping up and the class menu by swiping right. Pick a class that suits your playstyle. The Trickster and the Devastator are aimed at rushing enemies and survivability, close range and mid range with their skill trees promoting assault and shotguns. The Pyro and the Technomancer are aimed at mid to longer ranges, with the skill trees aimed at assault rifles and sniper rifles. Of course you can play any of the classes at any range, if you want to play close range with Technomancer like I do often, then you just need the right mods available. And of course there's no shame in taking cover to heal a little bit as well. Also pick a build that suits your ability. If you're not the best at aiming, then using the Technomancer might not be the best option for you, where of course, like I said, sniper rifles are a great choice for the build. You might want to play something close range with shotguns. When using a throwable skill like grenades or turrets, holding the skill button down brings up a throwing arc so you know where it will land. Stronger enemies have abilities and you can interrupt them with the right skill. Check your ability menu to see which skills have an interrupt on them. Melee attacks work as an interrupt skill for all of the classes. Melee attacks inflict your class's element, for example Pyromancer's melee attacks will inflict burn. The Pyromancer can also use their abilities through walls. The skill tree can be reset at any time to change your playstyle. Whenever a grenade is thrown at you, make sure to quickly roll out of the way. If the current game is too tough, you can manually lower the world tier until your build is stronger or you get better gear. Every mission and side mission has loot chests hidden in them and also some journal entries to collect, so always explore each area. You can replay previous missions of the story by selecting a previous point in the lobby. Doing so will reset any chests you previously opened, any ores that you have mined, and you will get back mission rewards as well, but you won't get to pick your reward like you do the very first time that you do a mission. Rolling is slightly quicker than sprinting to get around. Hitting an enemy's weak spot is an instant critical hit. To mark an enemy, all you have to do is hit them with a skill, and they will be marked for a short time. And that's important for especially the Pyromancer, who will get healed after you kill a marked enemy. So all you have to do to mark an enemy is hit them with one of your skills and then kill them. Or of course, if you kill them the first time with that skill. Don't always just equip the highest level gear. Make sure to pick ones with the mods that benefit your current abilities to get the most out of them. The right mods can effectively double how effective your character is. You can mark items to quickly dismantle or sell things quickly. Dismantling weapons gives you iron for crafting. Dismantling armor gives you leather. Dismantling also gives you shards needed for improving specific attributes, and you can check to see what shards you already have. Dismantling a weapon or armor piece with a mod attached unlocks that mod for crafting. Items with a little grid square attached means you already have that mod unlocked for crafting already. Items with a red box means you already have that mod equipped. The little red square means you already have that mod equipped and it doesn't stack. So that means if you equip two pieces of armor with the same mod, you will only get the effects from one of the mods, so you should equip something else. For example, here the blighted rounds offer 40% damage back as healing, and I already have that equipped. So if I was to equip that mod to another piece of equipment, then I wouldn't get 80% back as healing. That mod would just simply not activate. 
and it would be pointless having it equipped. Your stash in game is shared between characters, including your weapons and armors. Mods don't share between characters and can't be stored in your stash. However, you can technically add a mod to a weapon and then add it to your stash and then you can access it on another character and then you can break it down on another character and have that mod accessible for that character. So if the devs intended for them not to have mods accessible on other characters, that's something that they might eventually prevent you from doing. Legendary weapons can be upgraded, so you only need to find them once, although upgrading them will be very resource intensive. You should really only upgrade your favorite one. Legendary items can be found from grunt enemies. Of course, tougher enemies like elites and bosses do have a higher drop chance. As of the most recent update, loot chests no longer give you legendary drops. However, you can get them as a reward from the end of side missions. Guys, that is about it for this video. 30 beginner tips for anyone new to the demo or just starting the game after release, giving you everything you need to know on the basics of Outriders. If you have any of your own tips, leave them in the comments below. Like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more Outriders guides and tip videos over the next few months. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys again next time.